It all started in 2007, 2008. I literally just started in the garage, man, just as, as where most sort of car enthusiasts start. I did start my apprenticeship a couple of years after that. Um, I, I'm a Nissan technician as well, so as most sort of mechanics start from dealerships. Um, it was about five, six years into there. Um, and then once sort of that finished up, we well, decided to open up my own shop because I've just had a lot of inquiries. You know, everyone wanted to start, you know, building their cars and, and the Melbourne scene was starting to get big. Um, and we all started with, you know, usual SR20s and setting up 250, 300 kilo cars and from there we grew. And now it's 10 years into being a mechanic. I've had the workshop for about three and a half, four years, going on to four years now. So and we've built some pretty tough cars in the last two, three years. Uh, definitely made an impact on the scene in Melbourne. The drifting days were definitely interesting. We've built some, well, my car personally was, was obviously one of the bigger ones, the 2J S13, the sequential gearbox, making about 600 horsepower. Uh, the, the drifting was definitely what sort of kicked it off for my experience as far as mechanical goes, and it did push boundaries, obviously breaking a lot of things and fixing and, um, yeah, testing and whatnot. So we started, uh, I opened up the shop in Camberfield in Melbourne, uh, northern suburbs of Melbourne about four years ago. Um, and now we're still in Melbourne, our new workshop here. Uh, we've opened this place up about six months ago. And yeah, I mean, that's where it's all started really. Well, it's just after seeing so many workshops, being a part of other workshops, you know, before I opened up my own shop and seeing how they sort of run their shop. Uh, some, I took bits and pieces out of most shops and sort of made my own, what I think should be a workshop. Uh, our other workshop, the first one was a lot smaller, a lot dirtier, a lot, you know, we all start from somewhere, yeah? Um, and now this is a new premises, so this is definitely a big step up from where we were. Our workshop sort of, you know, we've got we to gotta set a bench, benchmark for the cars that come in here. Yeah, we've got to keep the place clean and we're definitely very fussy with that. So we mainly specialise in Japanese performance cars being JDM Industries. Uh, we do a lot of SR20 RB work from 25 to 26. Um, we do a lot of 2J work as well. Uh, we've obviously well known for 2Js being the stuff that we've done before in the past, a lot of testing and whatnot. And we do do a lot of fabrication in house, so stainless steel, um, aluminium welding, TIG welding. Uh, we make our own, all our custom exhaust work and cooler piping work and a lot of custom fabrication in house. Uh, we do a lot of engine building as well. Um, now with our new workshop, we do have obviously a nice clean good looking uh, engine room that, um, that allows us to do all our big big power builds. Um, and we have ordered, just placed our order for our two wheel drive Dynatec Dynodynamics Dyna, which is on its way in a, in a few weeks time. Well, the old S13, the 2J Drift one, um, it is long gone. Uh, it's been completely stripped and, and sold off. The shell is floating around in Melbourne somewhere. It's probably gone to about four other owners. Now the new S13 is uh, definitely something different. It's a complete build, brand new build. Uh, the car was actually gone to the scrapyard. It was a front end complete write off car. We've sort of brought it back to life. Uh, there's not many Sylvia or, or Skyline sort of clean examples left anymore. So we thought, you know what, we'll start with this. Um, now we've built it to where it is now. It's definitely, it's definitely come a long way from where we started about a year and a half ago. It was just sitting around for a while and then in the last six to nine months we got pretty serious. We got it painted, we got the chassis work done, um, we've obviously built the motor in-house and done all everything in-house here. Just the automatic, the transmission got built by our friends at Preston Automatics and Differentials, got a two-speed power glide um, and we're still in early stages of testing of it so and we're aiming to get into the low eights, high sevens being a street registered full trim car. Well yeah, Cudamundra was pretty intense, I mean we had, we, we didn't know what we were going into, we only heard stories of it um, and I mean yeah, it definitely lived up to, to the stories. It was very very fast paced, there was a lot going on, a lot of big, big power cars, big build cars and we thought we fit in just right with our new build. Um, obviously it was the early stages of it, so we were reaching about 147, 148 mile an hour, um, 11.2, 11.3 I think our ET was. So hopefully, hopefully next year when we come back out, the mile per hour is going to be a lot faster than that and it's going to be a lot quicker. And I am couple, chasing a couple down those drag battle records. So.
Well, we, uh, we've got a couple of cars in at the moment that we've built over the last month or so. Um, we've got Tony's GDR here who has had a few dramas with a few other workshops um, in the past and we sort of just left that in the past and we're moving forward now. And we've got the car pretty, pretty, uh, pretty solid at the moment. I'm running to about 500 kilowatts um, on about 30 pounds of boost. And yeah, we've really got that sorted. So once we turn that up, it should be a pretty intense Melbourne car, definitely. Gonna upset a lot of GDR owners around here. And we've got Lev's GDR behind us over here, the 34. Uh, that's a stock motor at the moment. It's making about 350 kilowatts. Um, we have got big plans for that in, in the future, in, in, you know, towards the end of the year. Uh, but again, take baby steps with it. And I mean, it's a clean car, so you don't want to be going up, hacking it up too much, yeah. Um, and then we've got an E86 behind us over here. It's got a full forge 4 ige motor. Um, they literally want us to finish it from start to end and get it running right. So yeah, look, we, we specialize a lot in the Japanese cars. We don't really do much V8s at all. Um, anything that's got a turbo on it and that's got a Japanese sort of emblem on it, it's definitely us. Uh, but the Fords, Fords are definitely something that we have a lot here in Melbourne. So, I mean, we, we build a lot of Ford, tough Ford XR6 turbos, FGs, and we do a lot of work on them, custom, you know, bigger turbo work, um, you know, built motors and, and head work and tunes on them and everything. So, pretty much it. And I mean, as far as the rotaries go, we definitely don't do much rotaries. But we do do a lot of, like I said with earlier, we do do a lot of stainless steel, aluminium TIG welding, custom fabrication. So, most of those cars are here for, you know, pretty much fit a lot of that turbo work up and sort of get them all ready so we can send them off to our partner rotary workshops that we get them tuned by and, and engines built by, but yeah.